Hi friends, this is 7th video on polynomials. Today I am going to explain zeros of quadratic polynomials and the relationship with coefficients. Before going to the topic, just one minute I will explain about linear polynomial. General form of linear polynomial p of x equal to ax plus b. This is first degree polynomial, variable x here. Okay, a and b are real coefficients. Zero of this ax plus b is what? Minus b by a. How we are getting this minus b by a? See here. ax plus b equal to zero. ax equal to minus b. Transpose b to right side. x equal to minus b by a. If you transpose here, it will divide that side. Okay. So, this x equal to minus b by a, it is 0 of this polynomial. It means what? p of x equal to x plus b, p of minus b by a equal to, in place of x if we substitute minus b by a, a into minus b by a plus b, in place of x, substitute this 0. a, a cancel, minus b plus b, result is 0. So, p of x equal to 0 we are getting at minus b by a. Okay, so this is said to be 0 of the polynomial p of x. Now, if we plot the graph for this linear polynomials, we will get straight lines. And also, that line cuts the x axis at minus b by a, comma 0. This topic I will explain in the ninth video. Okay, I will explain one example also for this. See, suppose p of x equal to 2x minus 5. What is the zero of this linear polynomial? Put 2x minus 5 equal to 0, 2x equal to 5, and x equal to 5 by 2. So x equal to 5 by 2 is zero of this linear polynomial. And one more, see. Suppose if p of x equal to 8x. What about zero of this linear polynomial? Put 8x equal to 0. x equal to 0 by h. That's also 0. So, x equal to 0. 0 is 0 of this linear polynomial. Okay. So, if you substitute in place of x 0, you will get result 8 into 0. 8x means 8 into 0. Result is 0. Okay. Now, I will explain quadratic. Here, observe the quadratic polynomial first. See here. P of x equal to ax square plus bx plus c. It is quadratic polynomial. Here, a, b, c, they are coefficients. Okay? If zeros of px, polynomial p of x, alpha and beta, take this to a zeros. Sum of zeros, alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. Minus b by a means what? See, b is this one, coefficient of x. So, minus coefficient of x by a. A is what? Coefficient of x square. So, alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a product of zeros, alpha into beta, alpha into beta equal to c by a, c is constant term, constant term by, once again, coefficient of x square, so alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a, alpha into beta equal to c by a, this is the relation between zeros and coefficients of quadratic polynomial, if we take one example, you can understand easily, say p of x equal to x square minus 4, this is also quadratic polynomial, suppose, if you consider this one as ax square plus bx plus c, general form of quadratic polynomial, this is also quadratic polynomial. See, in place of a, here 1x square. So a is 1. Okay. Now bx, x term is not there. It means b equal to 0. C, constant term minus 4. C equal to minus 4. Okay. Now see, factorize this one. Factorize p of x. We will find factors of x square minus 4. x square minus 4 equal to x square minus 2 square. 4 means 2 square. That equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. a plus b into a minus b formula. So, we are finding the factors of x square minus 4. x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now we will find zeros of this polynomial. So, how to find zeros of polynomial? 0 of x plus 2 is, if x plus 2 is 0, x is minus 2. Take this one as alpha. Now, 0 of x minus 2 is, if 
if you say minus 2 right side, you will get plus 2. Consider this one as beta. So if you put x plus 2 equal to 0, that implies x is minus 2. And if x minus 2 equal to 0, then x is plus 2. So we are getting two zeros. One you take as zero alpha and the one as beta. Now here we will see what is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta minus 2 plus 2. How much you are getting? 0. Okay. But what we know? Alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Okay. See here a is 1, 1x one square. And b term is not there. So 0. And c constant term minus 4. Minus b by a minus 0 by a is 1. 0 by anything is 0. C. Both are same. Alpha plus beta minus b by a. Now what is alpha into beta? See, alpha is minus 2 into beta is 2. So 1 minus is there. Minus 2 to the 4. Alpha into beta. Product of 0 so we are getting minus 4. Alpha into beta we are getting c by a. What is c by a here? C. It is minus 4 by a is 1. So minus 4 by 1 is again minus 4. So these two also equal. Same thing. So what we can say here? Alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Alpha into beta is c by a. Okay. Two more similar problems we will see now. First here, 4s square minus 4s plus 1. It is the quadratic polynomial in variable s. That's why I have written here p of s, not p of x. Okay. p of s equal to 4s square minus 4s plus 1. First we will find the factors of this polynomial. Okay. So 4s square minus 4s plus 1. We will divide this into two parts. Okay. Split the middle term into two parts. How to proceed that one? Here s square coefficient is 4, constant term is 1. Multiply these two. Always this is the procedure. So 4 1 ja, 4. 4 1 ja, we are getting 4. If you multiply you have to get 4. And if you add the two terms you have to get the middle term minus 4. So here options 4 1 ja, 4 it is not suitable here. 2 2 ja, also 4. Okay. But if you add 2 plus 2 it is plus 4. How to get minus 4? Put here minus minus. Minus 2 into minus 2 you will get plus 4 only multiplication. If you add these two minus 2 minus 2 you are getting minus 4. So now I am writing this as 4s square minus 2s minus 2s plus 1. So minus 4s split into two parts. Minus 2s minus 2s. See, in these two, what is common here? 2 is there. Okay, in both number 2 is there. And see, here s square, here s. So s yes also common. 2s take outside. Still 2 is there. 2 2 is there. S into S. Okay. 2S into 2S. It is 4S square. Minus is there. Put here minus symbol. 2S 1 ja, 2S. Okay. Already 2S is outside. So put here minus symbol. Now in this 2. If here minus is there. Put minus symbol. If plus is there. Put plus symbol here. What is common in this 2? See. Nothing is there. No? But this time you have to take common 1. Take common 1. Then what is there? Similar thing, same thing you have to write. 1 into 2s, so write 2s only. Here plus is there, but you have taken minus. Minus into minus is plus. Okay, 1, 1, ja, 1. Yeah. See, whatever the term in here in the first brackets, same thing you will get here also. Okay, here and here also, same thing you have to get. 2s minus 1, take common. Into, again, 2s minus 1. Okay. So, these two are the factors of this quadratic polar. And in another style also, you can proceed for this. This is 2s whole square. First term is 2s whole square. Last one is plus 1 whole square. But in middle, you can write minus 2 into 2s into 1. So, this is a square minus 2ab plus b square formula. So, then you can write as 2s minus 1 whole square. It means 2s minus 1 into, once again, 2s minus 1. Okay, so now we will find coefficients and also relation. What are the coefficients and relation? Say here you consider as ax square plus bx plus c. This is generally quadratic polynomial. Here a in a plus what is here? 4. 
that is s square coefficient now what is the middle term that is minus 4s is the middle term s coefficient is minus 4 and c is what here constant term it is 1 these are real coefficients of this polynomial but what are zeros for this 2s minus 1 and 2s minus 1 these two are factors put this as zero so 2s minus 1 equal to zero that implies 2s equal to 1 that implies s equal to 1 by 2 once again 2s minus 1 so again you will get s equal to 1 by 2 now here you take one is as alpha and the one as beta so two zeros same thing we are getting one is alpha and the one is beta now we will write what is alpha plus beta sum of zeros we are finding 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 see alpha is 1 by 2 beta is also 1 by 2 how much you are getting take lcm as 1 2 1 0 1 is there plus once again 2 1 0 1 is there 2 by 2 it means 1 in another way you can say half plus half it is 1 Alpha plus beta, one we are getting, and minus b by a. What is minus b by a? Minus b is minus four by a is four. Minus half minus plus four by four. You are getting one. So alpha plus beta is what? Minus b by a. Now we will find alpha into beta. Alpha is half. Once again, beta is half. One by two to the four. And what is c by a? C c one by a is four. It means alpha into beta. We are getting c by a, right? In this way, we will solve one more problem. See p of e equal to four e square plus a q. This is the polynomial. We will factorize first this one. See what is common here? Four u four is common. U is also common. Now your remaining term is only u plus four two z. Okay, u is already outside. These two are factors for u and u plus two. Now put these two equal to zero. Then for u equal to zero. First one for u equal to zero. That implies u equal to zero by four. Again you will get zero. Consider this one as alpha. Now second one. U plus two equal to zero. That implies u equal to minus two in this. So consider this one as beta. Okay. So now what is alpha plus beta? Alpha is zero plus beta is minus two. Zero plus minus two it is minus two only. Okay. Now what is minus b by a? In this case, what is minus b by a? So coefficients we have to find. See, this is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c square. So what is a in this? Four. Now what is b here? Eight. Now what is constant term here? There is no constant. Take as zero. Now substitute here. Minus b by a. Minus b plus eight by a is four. Four one zero. Four two zero. How much you are getting? Minus two. Here is minus two. Here is also minus two. Therefore, alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Now see second one. Alpha into beta. Alpha is how much? Beta is how much here? Alpha is zero and beta is minus two. Zero and anything is zero. Now what is c by a? C is zero by A is four. Zero by four is again zero. That implies alpha into beta is c by a. Okay. So alpha plus beta is minus b by a. Alpha into beta is c by a. See here, alpha one by two, beta three by two. Already two zeros they are given. Now we have to find quadratic polynomial for this zeros. Let quadratic polynomial. General term will take a x square plus b x plus c. Okay, here condition a not equal to zero. Now for this, 
alpha equal to 1 by 2, beta is 3 by 2 or zeros of this polynomial. Okay? Here, we will find alpha plus beta first. Sum of zeros alpha plus beta. 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. See, like fractions. Directly can add 1 plus 3 by 2. It is 4 by 2, nothing but 2. Now, what is alpha into beta? 1 by 2 into 3 by 2. So, 3 by 3 by 2 to 0, 4. This is alpha plus beta, sum of zeros. This is alpha into beta, part of zeros. Here, general term of quadratic polynomial. Okay. What is that quadratic polynomial? See, actually we are telling ax square plus bx plus c. This one can be written as k into x square minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha into beta. Okay. If they are given sum of zeros and part of zeros, then this is the general form. K into x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Here k is any constant value we can take according to problem. Say, we know all the values k into x square minus what is alpha plus beta? See it is 2 into x plus alpha into beta is what? 3 by 4 is equal to k into x square minus 2x plus 3 by 4. Now you see here denominator 4 is there. According to that we have to take k value. Okay. If k equal to 4 what will happen here? 4 into x square minus 2x plus 3 by 4. See 4 into x square is 4x square minus 4 to the 8x. Here, yeah, 4 for cancel, only plus 3. This is the form of quadratic polynomial with alpha 1 by 2, beta 3 by 2. Like. See here, yeah, what is the quadratic polynomial whose sum of zeros is minus 3 by 2 and the part of zeros is minus 1. Compared to previous problem, this is easy. Because in the previous problem, they had given alpha and beta. We calculated alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta. Alpha into beta. Here already they are given alpha plus beta. How much sum of zeros? Minus 3 by 2. Alpha into beta, product of zeros is minus 1. Let quadratic polynomial general term ax square plus bx plus c. Okay. What about that ax square plus bx plus c? It is k into x square minus sum of zeros into x plus alpha into beta product of zeros. Now directly we have to substitute here. k into x square minus alpha plus beta it is minus 3 by 2 into x plus alpha into beta it is minus 1 put in brackets. Okay? Alpha into beta. Now this is k into x square minus into minus plus 3 by 2 times x plus into minus it is minus 1. See here in the denominator 2 is there. So put k equal to 2. Then 2 into x square plus 3 by 2 into x minus 1. Multiply by 2 all terms. 2 into x square is 2x square. Here 2 into cancel plus 3x is there. Finally 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. So, like this we have to find quadratic polynomials. For quadratic polynomials, if we plot the graphs, we will get parabolas. I will explain in 10th video, okay, these parabolas clearly. Now, if you like my videos, please like, share, comment and subscribe this channel.